Hi there. I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I'm a soul sculptor and intuitive healer, and I help you break out of the mold of past trauma and heartbreak so that you can have the life of your dreams. Whether you're a healer or a coach, whether you are a private person, your greatest asset is your intuition. Now there was a time, <laughs> there was a time that I used to go to psychics because I didn't either trust nor believe the intuition that I was receiving. We all have intuition. The truth is, it is part of who we are. We all have wonderful gifts, but how to tap into the intuition comes from three main points. The first one is, if there is a lot of mind chatter, if, if you feel like, I don't have intuition, I am not a psychic, I'm not intuitive, then you're going to block yourself from receiving. So that's the number one point. We have to believe that we are intuitive. We all have extrasensory perception, as it used to be called, ESP. We all have senses beyond the touch, smell, sight. What are the other ones? <laughs> beyond the five senses, we have extrasensory perception. We have intuition. We have this gut instinct. Our gut, our body is always talking to us and you can even sense it when you go to the grocery store. Should I buy this? Would this be in my highest and best interest? And, and you get a sinking feeling in your stomach and you go, those chocolate chip cookies will not do my hips very good today or next week. So I will not buy the chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> So there's a lot of different ways we can use our intuition, but I will say, here am I in Boulder, Colorado, where last month <laughs> I was living in Ojai, California. And how did I get here? I trusted my intuition. So that leads me to number two. The greatest reason people don't listen to their intuition is because they don't trust themselves. So if you don't trust you, you won't trust God, you won't trust the universe, you won't trust the politicians, you, you know. We have to be able to use discernment and discernment comes from our active listening, our listening and trusting our body, our awareness of what we are getting, but we have to ultimately trust ourselves. And for those of us who were incredibly uh, insecure or lacking confidence or perhaps you were molested or traumatized in some way you were abandoned or abused you're not going to trust yourself and so this is something that comes from working with someone like me that will help you build that confidence will help you overcome that past trauma that is still in your unconscious mind because until all of that noise is eliminated, until we forgive ourselves, heal all the trauma, then there's way too much chatter telling us, you can't do that, you're not good enough, you're not intuitive, you're not psychic. So this small-minded ego stuff, it's there to protect us, but we have to know what to listen to and when. And so quieting the ego, getting it to calm down. So I, I, it's, it's really important. So th the third thing is the believing because our belief, our belief governs our worlds. You know, if, if we have a belief that we don't have power, if we have a belief that we're not good enough, if we have a belief that we will never amount to anything, or we have a belief that uh, psychic powers or intuitive powers are from the devil, which they are not, they're God-given, otherwise we wouldn't have them, right? God gave us all these gifts, so uh, we have to believe that we do have the power to trust and receive.
information of the highest and best. And so, you know, in my coaching programs, I teach people how, how do you discern um, what is the dark side talking to you? Well, you know, when you raise your vibration high enough, they just don't get through anymore. That's a lot of it. And, and so I want to tell you a little story though. When I had a landscape business, I started the landscape business in 2001 uh, till 2011 in Georgia. I became a master gardener and then I ended up starting a landscape business with the help of my ex. He encouraged me, he didn't help me in my business, he encouraged me. So I would go to my barn every day and load up my trailer for the job that I was about to do, whether it was sod or whether it was a tree and, and shrub installation or whether it was you know, planting flower beds, perennial gardens or whatever, I would go and load up my trailer for the day. And what started to happen because my guides were talking to me, they would put a halo, kind of like this, around a particular tool that would say, this is the tool you need. And I'd go, I don't need that tool. I would argue with the guidance. Have you ever argued with the guidance you receive? <laughs> when we argue with the guidance, we are cutting ourselves off. We are, we are negating our gifts. And I argued with the guidance for a very long time until finally, after repeated attempts at me arguing, and every single time what happened was the guidance I received was correct and my stubborn refusal to believe the guidance got in my way every single time. I eventually acquiesced and went, you are right, I will listen. Life is easier when we listen. When, when our ego mind is, you know, no, 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 I'm right, you're wrong, I'm right, you're wrong, it gets in the way of our relationships, it gets in the way of our business, it gets in the way of our joy. Stubbornness and ego will get in our way every single time. So we have to let go of that. Stubbornness is something we needed in the past to protect us. We don't need it anymore, so it's something to let go of. I know, <laughs> five planets in Scorpio, I was stubborn for a very long time, but I found that it didn't serve me any longer. So I gave you three key points, three key points that you can use to develop your intuition. Number one, <laughs> quieting the noise, quieting the, the chatter. And how can you do that? Well, I help, I help my clients do that with several different ways. I teach you how to meditate. I uh, give you a mantra that will help to quiet the mind. And okay, so that's, that's number one, quieting the mind. Number two, trusting yourself. You have to trust yourself. You have to trust yourself and know that what you're receiving is accurate. The information that the universe gives us is always spot on. Hi there, Falak. Nice to see you. So thank you so much for watching. There's one more key point, the third point. So what do we have? Quiet the mind. Number two, trust. Number three, what's the third one? Belief. We have to believe that we have the power and each of us was given the power of intuition. It is part of, we are not just physical, we are spiritual beings, multidimensional beings, but the intuition is part of our power. It is what we were given by, by God. All right, my dear, whether you believe in God, whether it's the universe, the gods, whoever, that we were gifted all of this with. So, intuition will help you make life so much easier i hope you've enjoyed this if you have and it was helpful i'd appreciate it if you would share it with a friend and if you have questions post them below and i will answer them in my next video sending you so much love today Mwah! i'm jennifer elizabeth masters visit my website jenniferelizabethmasters.com for more information about how you can work with me
Much love to you. Thanks for being here.